Suppose a monopolist sells his product into separate markets. After the product is sold in one market, there is no possibility of it being resold in the other market. This is just saying no arbitrage. Hmm. No arbitrage means I can either sell in market one. I mean, I can sell in both the markets, but nobody is going to take it from here and sell it here. That's not going to be there. Okay. So now it says, uh, what of the following must be true? Achha, so now we have this, you remember this learner's index, huh? What was the learner's index saying? It was saying MC is equal to P 1 plus 1 by ED. Remember that, so if there are two markets, there will be two prices. P1, ED1, MC2 will be P2, 1 plus 1 by ED2. But, because the, so it's like saying that I am selling in two markets, but because I am producing the same product, my cost of production is the same. So, MC1 should be equal to MC2. So, 1 by P1, 1 plus 1 by ED1 should be equal to P2. 1 plus 1 by ED2. Okay. Now, if P1 is greater than P2 and the product of this has to be equal, this will imply that 1 plus 1 by ED1 should be less than 1 plus 1 by ED2. So, 1 by ED1 should be less than 1 by ED2. So, ED2 should be less than ED1. So, which means that I can go ahead. Hmm, so, elasticity of product in market 1 is more than market 2. But, but, but this would be a little incorrect to say. Why? Because elasticity of demands are in the negative. They are negatives. So if I say that ED1 is coming greater than ED2, you are getting them in the negatives. It's like saying that minus 2 is greater than minus 5. But when I talk about elasticity, which is more elastic, which is less elastic, we always refer in the absolute terms. So ideally, 5 is greater than 2 in the absolute terms, right? So actually, we have market 2 elasticity more than market 1 elasticity. Are you getting it? So basically we are saying that and this makes sense economically also that if price is more in that in one market you can charge a higher price only if people don't switch from your product if elasticity is lower right if you think this becomes a little confusing then in the learner's index formula please write like this 1 upon 1 minus ed1 p2 1 upon 1 minus ed2 this negative sign ensures that I have considered the sign of elasticity and now in this formula I will put elasticity in positive values in the absolute values only but if I if I have these with plus sign then remember my elasticity must come with its actual value which means with its negative value right so you have to be a little careful about this okay so the answer to this question is Price must be higher in the market with lower price elasticity of demand. See.